In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this cool cylinder effect using a shape layer, repeater, and then the cylinder effect. And then we're going to add text to it using the echo effect. So let's get started. So I'm going to click on my pre-comps folder, create a new comp. I'll just call this cylinder pre-comp. 1920 by 1080, four seconds, and uh, black background. Say OK. I'm going to start by taking my pen tool, and up here above the composition window, I'm going to hold down the Shift key, and I'm going to click and create a path. And that will automatically create a shape layer in my timeline. I'll open up the contents, open up shape. We can get rid of fill. We're not going to be using the fill. I'll open up the stroke and change that to kind of a blue-green. At the beginning of the composition, we're going to start our, we're going to have our stroke start out at three and create a keyframe, then move to two seconds and change that to 13. Okay, then I'm going to close that up and uh, click on the word contents because now I'm going to add my first repeater and I want it to be outside of shape. So in the first repeater, we'll start out with zero copies, keyframe it, and at two seconds, I'm going to change that to 40 copies. and go back to the beginning. Then in Transform Repeater 1, I'm going to start with my position at 0, 0 and keyframe it. And then move over to 2 seconds and we'll change that to 27.5. I'm going to close this up for a minute and actually go into the Transform Properties for the layer. So this can get confusing because we have lots of different Transform Properties. We have the Transform for the shape, we have transform for the repeater, and here's transform for the whole layer. In this one, I'm going to change the scale to 227. Then I'll close that up. Okay, now I'm going to add my second repeater. So I'll click on the word contents, go to repeater. Now we've got repeater two. In repeater two, I'm just going to have two copies. Open up transform repeater, and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to adjust my X position to center the grid. And I'll close that one up. Now I'm going to pre-comp this layer. And I'll just name this one Grid Pre-Comp. And then I'll create a new comp in my main comps folder. And I'll, let me name this one. I'll call that Cylinder with Text 2 to bring in my Grid Pre-Comp. And then apply CC Cylinder. So then I have something like this that writes on. At one second, I'm going to set a keyframe for rotation X. I'll move to uh, two seconds. Rotate that one down. Move on over to three seconds. Then continue rotating it all the way around. It's a little fast, so I'm going to just select them all, all the keyframes, hold down the Option key, and just spread them out. This will slow it down. And then on the last keyframe, I want to be sure to give it an easy ease in. And I'll go into the graph editor and pull that one on out. OK. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going back into my grid pre-comp, and in here's where I'm going to add my text. So I'll just, I'm going to be at 1, 5, type the word text, move it to the center, and then I'm going to move it straight up out of frame, make a position keyframe. At about two seconds, I'm going to bring it on down to the middle of the screen. Then I'm going to add the echo effect. And under the echo effect, I'll make the number of echoes 15. The decay will be 0 0.78. And the time echo is going to be minus 0 0.2. So we'll get something that looks like this. If we go back into our final comp, I play it. 
Now I think I'll go back into my pre-comp and move the text down so that it comes in a little bit later. Because I want to see that echo effect. So let's see how this goes. So I've just moved the start over, say, 20 frames. And go back into my render comp. Let's see how that works. OK, I think I'm going to shorten this composition so that I can start it later. I'll drag this over to the beginning so it comes in now like this. And now I'd like to move my text down so that it comes in later. Ideally, I think the text would come in maybe, I think the text should come in at about 215. So I'm going to go back in here. This composition needs to be made longer, so Command K. I'll just give myself another couple of seconds. I'm going to have to extend my layers, and I want to start my type down here at about 315. Jump back into my render comp, and let's see how that looks. Drag that one out to the length of the new, the new length. OK, but now I'd like my text to come in right about here. So I'm going to adjust the text so that it starts coming in at three seconds. Let's just play that and see how it looks. OK, that's pretty good. Now, this is obviously a lot of things you can do with this. So go ahead and go in and experiment with all of these different properties and see what you can come up with.